So anyone who knows about bottom fishing knows sharks are a huge deal. We've had big, nice fish get shark, big, nice groupers get shark, uh, but Shark Bands came out with a fish deterrent for fishermen. It's the Zeppelin. It's six and a half ounces. You can use it as your lead, but the way I decided to rig it up was on a steel cable. I got about 10 feet of this steel cable to a snap swivel. So I'm fishing my big bait down on the bottom. Once I get the thump, I start cranking. I get tight on my fish, say I got a good one, and then I throw this overboard or one of my buddies will throw it overboard and it rides down the line till it gets to your swivel. Then the shark band's uh, Zeppelin will slide past the fish, deterring any sharks. All right, so I'm dropping my line down. I got this leash on here. This leash has the shark deterrent on there. I'm just gonna leave it just like that. If I hook a big grouper or something, we'll try to get him up and toss that in there and that should keep the sharks away. Just hit bottom. Come on. Be the right one. He's heavy. I got a gaggle tooth! All right, get him, Nikki. Woo. Get a good grip on him. On the net. Woo Hold him up. That's how it's done, baby. As soon as we felt the thump, we just chuck that in there. Keep her gag. I think the gaggle tooth, whole gaggle tooth, no shark bites. Let's go do it again. All right, we got our lead here. Go ahead, toss our lead down. As it slides down, you can see the Zeppelin is hanging up on the leader. So I'm just gonna leave that in the boat. Let this slide all the way down to the bottom and see if there's another gaggle tooth home. Come on, buddy. Manning Brown, let's see him. That's a good fish. Turn the handle, boy. Woohoo! Grupa! Oh man, I am beat. So you see the cable was hanging down below the fish. And he did not get sharked. So, would he have got sharked without it? I don't know. But shoot, caught two nice groupers. Had a shark eat my bait without this on there and still didn't lose it. Seems like this is a really, really good way to rig this. If you're worried about buying one and not wanting to lose it. Oh man, the shark bands, Zeppelin. I'm pretty stoked on that right there. Woo. That gaggle tooth is gonna be nice and yummy. And I'm gonna tell you what it is I've learned about this on my first time using it. And again, if you wanna try this out, there's a link in the description where you can order one. They are available to the public now. Um, I love the cable technique. I think I'm gonna stick with that for now and kind of modify it a little bit. So far what I did was I added a snap swivel onto both sides of the cable so that I can have multiple cables. I can have a six inch cable or a 60 foot cable, it doesn't matter. And now I can just clip it on there, just like that, close the snap swivel and switch out applications and it can still be stored inside the transportation case. So that is what I'm gonna be doing now. We're gonna be testing this out. We're gonna be doing inline camera action with it so you can see sharks coming up at it. I know the product works. I've talked to people that have seen the results. I've talked to the people at the company. Uh, I've talked to people that have absolutely nothing to do with the company and they are a true believer in it and they're hardcore fishermen. So. Shark bands, Zeppelin, I give it a pass, uh, but I'm definitely not done with it. I'm gonna try it out some more and get you guys the footage of that. Thanks a lot for watching the channel, guys. You can always check out my gear, jantogear.com, and we will see you in the next video. Later.